so we obviously as you saw we went shopping and we got quite a lot of things um in this video i want to do a little bit of a home haul Ooh, i'm so excited but um all the pieces that i bought you will have seen them in a zara haul which is really exciting um honestly these pieces i feel like i say this every time but these pieces are actually phenomenal like they're pieces from zara h&m and coach and i think you guys are really really gonna like them um like i said you will have already seen that video but right now um we've been working to kind of organize all the outfits to shoot and then we're just gonna order some poke bowls because we're hungry so from h&m we saw quite a lot of things at h&m home obviously h&m home is great because it's affordable so if you are wanting to decorate your house um, and you're on a budget it's great because they have really modern um, pieces that are gonna be really really beautiful but also at a good price um, so I only picked up a couple things the rest of them are on my wish list and they will be coming but obviously having to be smart with finances is important so um, not everything can be bought at once I guess you could say so the only two things I kind of picked up were two pillowcases and then two um, fillers. So I went with two um, kind of, I guess they're polyester pillowcases. Um, and these are more of a gray, slightly darker than my couch. So let's see what it looks like here. So still very similar, but in person it's a little bit darker and the fabric is different, which is exactly what I wanted because this couch, um, it's from Ikea. I will link it down below. Um, it came with five pillows, which is great, um, but they are rather flat and because the couch is so deep It makes the couch look really empty So I wanted kind of two extra pillows to make it look a little bit fuller And then after that I can go in with some maybe accent pillows to then just add color and maybe pattern But for these two pillows, I just wanted something that was going to be similar to the couch not a lot of kind of pattern or anything but what I want to show you is a really exciting delivery. As I, you guys saw in the last vlog, I didn't have the greatest mirror. It was just a really like small mirror hanging on my door, but I finally got a mirror. I know you can't see much, but this is an Ikea mirror. It is huge, and guess who's going to be able to do selfies now? Oh, I'm so excited guys, but um, we still have to take the plastic off. I literally just got it um, But it is really really big and it is gonna go right here Which is perfect because as you can see my clothing rack is on the other side um, Yeah, it's gonna go out here beside the couch and then we have another little addition which I will show you Later, but that's um, a little project that my boyfriend has been nurturing for some weeks now but this was a really exciting delivery that we got today. So I'm going to get this um, kind of unpackaged and unboxed. So yeah. All right, it's set up. Let me show you. All right, don't mind the mop in the background, but ah, this is it. We can now do mirror selfies. So like I said, this is a mirror from Ikea and it is humongous. It is really, really, really big. Um, I will definitely link it down below for you guys. Um, it has got a really narrow edge and then it's just quite thick on the side there as you can see and then it's just leaning up against the wall. I initially wanted something that was very kind of Parisian with the gold rim um, but quite honestly for this apartment I think this will do the job and it'll still look beautiful. And then this rack is just going to be shifted over a little bit that way it's just a little bit more centered but that's what we're doing really excited all right so um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna show you how I kind of I guess pick out outfits for my um, videos a lot of you and you would have seen this in my Q&A video but a lot of you were asking me how I actually come up with kind of my outfits and where I get inspired from and the truth is I have to completely block out what everyone is doing. I can't be focusing on what this content creator doing and what this trend is because I become everyone else. And that, that 
is doesn't work so in order for me to create outfits and content I just have to be in my own bubble and typically it's my mom and I and we will sit and we will brainstorm and we will chat and we will argue and we will put different outfits on and I will try out a thousand and one outfits until we get the perfect outfit or the perfect piece if we're shopping um, and I know I will have already talked about this in my Q&A, but that is what I do So I just want to kind of put you up on a time-lapse and kind of see that kind of thinking process because right now What we're gonna do is we have just bought all the pieces for the haul and I have them on a clothing rack and we are now gonna actually go through the process and make these outfits and um, see what's gonna work um, especially because um this is really exciting, but for this haul, again, um, you will have already seen it, but I'm gonna do something completely different. Instead of doing it indoors, I wanna do a haul kind of slash lookbook. So instead of being indoors and kind of just modeling it, I wanna actually take these outfits out into the street. I'm going back to my hometown for Thanksgiving, and although I was initially kind of panicked because I was like, where am I gonna do content? Like, I work this day, I'm, I'm not home. Whatever, I figured it out and I'm just gonna create this content in my hometown. Um, and I think that's, honestly, it's really special to me to be able to do that, but I'm gonna do that. And so we are gonna not only pick these outfits, but then we're gonna have to pick locations that match these outfits. So I'm really, really excited for that video to go live. I'm kind of nervous about it too, because I think it's, not, it's something I've never done before. And it's also something I've never seen done in a haul. I've obviously seen lookbooks done on their own and I've seen hauls done traditionally but I've never seen the two kind of merged together so I'm really kind of nervous and excited for that but yeah I'm gonna set you up on a time lapse and you can kind of see how we come up with all the outfits that you guys see and hopefully love so yeah I'm gonna get to work because we have a ton of outfits to create So um, it is now, oh my god, I think like past six o'clock and I'm kind of in a rush because my boyfriend's gonna be home at 6.45 and I just want to pick up a gift bag for his gifts because it's his birthday today. So um, yeah, I want to do that and get going, but I just want to show you what I'm wearing. I'm quickly just gonna show you. Oh my god, guys, we have a mirror now. Okay, but we gotta get in focus. There we go. Okay. So I'm just wearing this H&M uh, kind of sage green sweater. You will have seen this already. I will leave the video up here. But this is what I'm wearing. I've just paired it with my Lululemon pants and a black blazer and then of course my coach bag. And I'm just gonna pair this with white sneakers. Honestly, I'm really hot right now so I'm not gonna take a jacket outside because the walk is fairly short to the dollar store. Um, and I know once I get in there, it's gonna be warm. So I'm just gonna pair this with white sneakers. And I know someone was asking, I think it was on my Instagram, um, how to actually wear like tights and Lululemon pants out of the house um, without feeling like too revealed or kind of inappropriate. And my biggest kind of, I guess, tip is always wear something that covers your bum. And it doesn't have to be what you're wearing underneath. But see, this doesn't cover my bum. But if you're wearing a jacket, and a way to kind of make it more modest is to make sure it's covering your bum. So that's kind of my tip and that's something I always follow. But anyways, I gotta get going. Like 
so much has happened since we last chatted thanksgiving happened um but i'm not gonna catch you up on all that yet i just wanna have lunch really quickly i know some of you ladies were curious <laughs> as to what i eat on kind of just low-key days most of the time like i've said on weekdays i love to eat kind of plant-based so really no dairy whatsoever very 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 little meat the only thing i will eat are <laughs> eggs i love eggs so i'm not going to give them up um so on days where i just want to make sure that i have food something healthy ready to go i will when i make dinner the night before i will make sure i make extra and then the leftovers will be kind of for me the next day to eat um so what i'll be having today is some rice and veggies these are honestly just frozen veggies that i have kind of sauteed really simple tofu i will fry up with butter and some salt and then what i love to add especially if you're in canada i think ottawa has it um toronto but i love to add this farm boy ginger sesame dressing it is so so good it is kind of like a vinaigrette in some ways oh, it's so good it's so good it just tastes good on anything so i'm just gonna warm all of this up put some of that dressing on and that'll be my lunch all right so i just finished eating and i thought it would be a good time to catch up i feel like we haven't talked for a little while I, w I went home for the weekend for Thanksgiving, which was really, really lovely. Um, I went to my hometown, and I think some of you recognized it, to do a little bit of filming for my Zara haul, which you guys will already have seen. Um, and I did some filming there, and then I went just to visit some family, and we had our Thanksgiving dinner. Obviously, in Canada, we have Thanksgiving um, in October, so a little bit earlier. So, yeah, we um, just went over to my aunt's house and we had a lovely turkey dinner, which is the best. And my cousin made some really, really great pumpkin pie, which is my absolute favorite. Who also loves pumpkin pie? <laughs> Comment down below. Um, so, that was really lovely. It was just nice to have some really just downtime with my family and just chat. And um, we played some board games, which is um, something we love to do. So, that was really, really nice. Um, and then once we got back, it was just back to, you know, chaotic life <laughs> that I have. But today it has been a very, very kind of, um, homebound day. Um, I have done a lot of work, um, a lot of comments, uh, a little bit of editing, um, some lectures that I had to attend to, and then a little bit of some emails, um, for work. But yeah, that's, that's been my day. But now I have to just take a step out to go to Shoppers and um, the dollar store just to get some things. So I'll probably take you with me there. I really don't want to go out. Do you guys ever have those days where you're just, like, you've spent all day at the house and you're like, mm, I just don't want to go out. That's kind of my mood. I also, it's not overly sunny out today. So I don't know if I, you know, just, it's cold out. Um, but I feel like I should just, get out anyways, go for a little bit of a walk, get some fresh air and do those errands that I have to run. And then once I get back, I have to get some more work done. I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about something. So a couple things actually. I recently got a new agenda. I have always, always, always been a planner. Um, ever since I could remember, I was into planners and agendas and all those things. Philo facts for a very, very, very long time was my absolute go-to. I have a couple um, file facts planners, like agendas, um, all, all in the personal style and have used those for years. But um, this time I decided to go for a rifle paper company planner. Um, so I'm gonna just give you a little bit of a look through it. I know some of you ladies were interested in what it was. Um, for me, what's really important for planners to have is they have to have a monthly section and they have to have that weekly section um, Just because I, I like to have an overlook of What's coming up and then I also like to have those kind of detailed days. So This is what the cover looks like really feminine. Um, just really simple. I love the color palette This is what um, the inside looks like you could obviously put your name in here I personally don't like to write anything in there and then you've got your 2021, some important dates, notes, monthly, and then you get into kind of your more detailed weeks. This planner, um, unlike the Filofax, 
doesn't have any dividers, which I'm not a huge fan of, so I have stuck some sticky notes for now to kind of um, know where to open it up. Um, but I'm gonna look into some dividers that can potentially attach to this. That way I can just kind of flip it open this way. So the monthly section is really important. This is what it looks like. So you have just your monthly spread. You have some note area and of course your entire month here. And then the weekly section, I'll go to a month that I haven't written anything in. And then for the weekly section, it's gonna look like this. So very different to a Filofax, if any of you have a Filofax. Something that is just worked for me recently is lists. And one of the main reasons I never used a rifle paper company planner before was because I never needed this list. I was very much more about appointments and um, I would write my to-do lists in the kind of open spaces on my Filofax planner. But I find this to be very, very helpful right now, especially just because I am very overloaded with to-do lists and tasks um, across different areas. So having these kind of smaller to-do lists and checklists um, for each day is really, really helpful. And of course, I know if any of you love decorating, <laughs> the um, this planner also comes with some really cute stickers. Um, if any of you are into that, I know I was at one point. And then of course some little dividers in there. So yeah, really nice planner. Um, it was, I believe, on sale at Indigo. I, these are fairly pricier planners. I believe they're on the, they're about $40 each, but I got mine for 20, which is a great deal. <laughs> so um, yeah, that was just a nice addition. Um, lately, I have been finding my schedule being very, very overloaded. So it's nice to have something to just um, make sure I get everything done that needs to be done when it needs to be done. So yeah, that's my new planner. Um, it's really cute. I know if some of you love planners and you've never tried the Rifle Paper Company, give it a try. It's really, really nice. I have been loving it so far and they have loads of different um, designs too. But right now it's past two, so I'm just gonna get myself ready. And I think I'm just gonna go do those errands and get them over with. So yeah, let's get going. All right, before I head out, I just want to show you quickly what I'm wearing. Honestly, I feel like this is such a go-to outfit for me when I'm just going out and about, but I got the black t-shirt I was wearing. I grabbed just a little cardigan. This is the front to back one that I always wear just for extra layer for warmth. I honestly have no idea how cold it is outside. My blazer, a bag, and I'm wearing these Aritzia Babaton joggers. Guys, if you don't like loungewear, but you want to be comfy and still put together, you will love these joggers. They look like trousers, but they're like fleece lined and they're so comfy, but they still look very, very classy. I also have a black mask because you know, you got to match your mask, <laughs> but that's what I'm wearing. Um, I'm going to bring with me my New Yorker bag. Um, I always, 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 always bring some sort of reusable bag. I really, really try and avoid to use plastic bags as much as possible and whenever possible. Yeah. Hello. So I just got back. Um, got myself a matcha tea latte. Second one of the day. Um, but I am, as I was coming back, I got a notification that I actually got a package from Oak and Fort. So I thought I would um, open it up with you. Um, they were kindly just reached out to me asking me if I would pick out a couple pieces. And so I just want to open those up with you and then hopefully um, be able to show you guys how I would style them. Um, Oak and Fort is actually a brand I have wanted to try for a very, very long time. Um, so I'm really excited to be able to try these pieces out. Okay, I've sat down on my couch. I've got the bag here with all the stuff. I honestly don't even remember what I had chosen. Um, so let's just get into it. So it looks like they grabbed some things that I didn't choose that they chose for me, so we'll see. Um, the first piece, it looks like two out of the three are things that I picked. So, the first one 
Although you guys know me, I don't wear a lot of lounge wear. Um, I do like to have very basic pieces that I can dress up. So the first one is this hoodie. It looks to be somewhat cropped, but I chose it in this kind of um, oat, very light camel color. I think it's looking very light um, on camera, um, but I just thought it is your classic kind of oversized um, hoodie. I'm not sure how the crop is gonna fit, and I got it in a size small, so we'll see. That's really cute, it's got the pockets too. The second piece is this skirt. So, I, to be honest, have never been one to wear a lot of skirts. Um, but as I've been getting more and more into dresses, and I've been wearing a lot of my dresses lately with like knitted sweaters, well you guys know. I've been wearing a lot of my dresses with knitted sweaters over top, and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna search around for some nice skirts that I can wear with thick knitted sweaters and I don't have to layer too much and then I could pair tights underneath it and then some boots when it starts to get a little bit colder out. So I chose this skirt. I'm hoping it's not going to be too short. I don't want it to be too short. Um, but I'm hoping, I think it's going to be a good length actually. It's supposed to be a little bit, almost like a mid-rise, so nothing too, too high. Um, and the length, honestly, seems like it'll be okay. We'll see. And the third piece, I don't even know what this is. This is interesting. Hmm. Oh, I can do this. Okay, I'm trying to figure what this is. So, um, this is the piece that I did not pick up, but it looks to be like a very taupey tone plaid shirt, but it's actually built to be almost off the shoulder with the strap. Honestly, I have never seen anything like this, so I'm going to have to try it on, um, and we'll see how that fits. So, all of these pieces I got in a size small for reference, um, so we'll see how those fit. Maybe I'll do a little try on today. Um, and the quality seems to be, for the price, everything I believe was around $78. Um, for the price, the quality seems to be matching, so that's a good sign. I just got myself, um, well, not myself dressed earlier, but I'm just getting myself ready to go out. We're gonna just go take a walk, grab a coffee, and then come back and I have to do some more work. Um, so just wanna show you my outfit. So this is what I'm gonna wear out. It's just this Aritzia. Guys, I feel like I'm always wearing Aritzia, but this is an Aritzia turtleneck. I'll link it down below. Super, super warm. The twirl skirt, my coach boots, which I'm very sorry that they are not available anymore, but I will link similar ones down below. And then I'll just pair it with my blazer and my coach purse. And that's the outfit. Hopefully it'll be warm enough, but we'll see. <laughs> stopped at Italy um, to get some Italy coffee. We both got cappuccinos. Um, so, so good. But now we are going to stop at a Halloween store. I know no one's celebrating Halloween. There's no parties this year, but we're just going to go check out what costumes there are because I thought I would spend my morning kind of working with you. A lot of my mornings are spent on my lovely <laughs> kitchen counter, which um, I think you guys will have noticed by now. But I spent a lot of time working here. Um, we were planning to get a desk. We are currently planning to get a desk in the bedroom. That way, if one of us needs kind of 
We are planning to get a desk in the bedroom. The bedroom still needs loads of work. We are still kind of searching for the perfect pieces. We will be getting nightstands soon. We need an, a different dresser to go in there. Um, but we are thinking to get a really, really small desk to go in the bedroom. That way, if one of us needs kind of that quiet time, um, we can go in there and do that. I personally prefer to be out here. Um, I just, I love having the big counter space. Is anyone else like that? You just need like lots of space to like sprawl. I've always been like that. So um, I always prefer working out here, but we will be getting, I think a desk in the bedroom, hopefully soon. We've just been on the hunt. We need the perfect kind of dimensions because there's one little wall in our bedroom that is right beside the window, which is perfect. Um, but we just need to find a desk that fits kind of those dimensions perfectly. Um, but yeah, I've been chatting enough. So I'm just gonna set you on a time lapse and we can do a little bit of work together. So I just finished up the grocery store and of course I never use plastic produce bags for my produce so it's like I have a garden growing out of my bag. No big deal, it's fine. Okay, just want to quickly show you what I got at the grocery store. So for produce we went with kale, lettuce, I got some avocados, these are really tiny but they're good because it's like one serving. Some lemons, peppers, I only like orange or yellow. Uh, strawberries, bananas, chickpeas, because I'm going to use them in tonight's dinner. Creamer, this is lactose free so it doesn't upset my stomach. This cheese, I have been struggling to find. My grocery store only gets it in every so often, so I went ahead and got three packs. Tofu, I always go for extra firm. Two packs of spaghetti, and the best girl guide cookies. They were at $2 at the grocery store today. I can't believe it. So. That's my treat. To start off, I'm just gonna clean this lettuce. I was gonna do the kale, but truthfully, the kale takes a lot longer to clean just because it's just a different texture. So I'm just gonna do this romaine lettuce just because it's quicker. I'm gonna give that a wash and then I'm gonna do some roasted chickpeas. Give them a really, really good wash. And then from there, I'm gonna put them into a bowl, put whatever spices you want in there. And then just put them in the oven at 450 degrees Fahrenheit or whatever that is in Celsius. Um, and then just roast them till they're crunchy if you'd like. I personally am not a crunchy person. I don't like things to be crunchy. So I'll just put them in until they're kind of roasted. And then I can put that into salads. I can eat them alone, um, into bowls, whatever it is, but it's a really good, kind of side it's got lots of protein so yeah that's something that i love to do it's really simple to do as well all right so once you've rinsed out the chickpeas i just rinse them out in the can no need to get any bowls or plates dirty and then you just put it in a pan and from here i will put everything that i need to put on so i'm going to do olive oil probably some garlic salt um salt seasoning whatever i have in my pantry mix it all together and then just put it in the oven at 400 or 450 degrees all right, so this is what you sort of want it to look like. Always ensure that the peas, that the chickpeas are kind of laying flat across the pan. That way they can all kind of get crispy. Um, and for seasoning, I just added some garlic, seasoned salt, paprika, and cayenne pepper. It just gives it a little bit of spiciness, and I really like that. So, yeah, that's what I added. Honestly, you just add whatever you have at your house. And that's going to go in the oven until they are crispy. No amount of time. Just kind of keep checking on them. Yeah. All right, so this is what they're gonna sort of look like. Slightly crispy, but still kind of soft on the inside is how I prefer them. So I'm just gonna put this on my salad. All right, so this is <laughs> the final product. Again, you can kind of see like all the different toppings. I added some vegan cheese. Those are the mushrooms. These are the kind of chickpeas that I made. And I just added some tomato that was in there. And then for the dressing, I'm gonna use this um, Farm Boy sesame ginger vinaigrette it is my absolute favorite it tastes so so good 
and I'm just gonna pour that on top. So I was sat here editing my video and I realized I never said goodbye. So yes, this is the end of the vlog. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Okay.